congratulations on your recent purchase of an Alpine BioPure pressure filter. We manufacture models which range from 1,000 gallons to 3,000 gallons without the ultraviolet light and models from 1,000 to 3,500 gallon capacity that includes an ultraviolet light. I have as an example model PLF 3000U. This is a 3,000 gallon capacity filter with an ultraviolet 11 watt light. This is the filter bucket which contains the bioballs. Bioballs are spheres that provide a large surface area on which water filtering microbes can grow. These are the filter pads. There are three pads which are used in the PLF 3000U. Some models vary in quantity, color, and coarseness. The pads must stay in the sequence it comes in. For example, the blue filter pad which is on the bottom, then the yellow middle filter pad, and then the black top filter pad. Here is the o-ring which goes around the filter bucket like so. Always check that the o-ring is free of kinks or tears as this will affect the seal and may cause the filter to leak. This is the ultraviolet 11 watt light bulb. The bulb should not be touched by skin even when taking it from the package because the quartz surface can be damaged by skin oils and salt. This causes the bulb to fill rapidly it is recommended to use cotton gloves when handling the light bulb. If a halogen bulb does come in contact with your skin, you can gently clean the bulb surface with an alcohol-based liquid. This is the glass cover that the ultraviolet light goes into. Here is the filter belt, which clamps down the top to the bucket to maintain the seal. This is the adapter that the clean water tube goes on and this will be the adapter for the tubing that the dirty water comes in from. The included transformer easily connects to the filter cable with a quick connect plug. Just insert the two prongs into the holes and twist the cap until it is tightly secured. This indicator when green lets you know that the filter is clean, but when the indicator turns red it means the filter needs to be cleaned. The way you would clean the filter is by unlocking the filter belt and taking the top off. I recommend you use gloves when cleaning the filter pads because the filter pads will be very dirty. Stir pads around in the pond water to break all the gunk or organic matter loose that is stuck on them. If they are extremely dirty, you may have to repeat this step. Next, remove about a fourth of the bio balls from the filter chamber and place them into the container with the pond water. Never use fresh water to clean the bio balls and never clean all the bio balls at once. This procedure strips away and weakens the nitrifying bacteria population present on the bio balls that the pond relies on to keep ammonia and nitrate in check. Only clean about one-fourth of the bio balls during any one cleaning session. Do not scrub the bio balls, just allow the pond water to do the job. At this time, you can also check the UV light to make sure it is still properly working and does not need to be replaced. I hope I've answered any questions you may have about Alpine's BioFilter. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact customer service at 877-710-0162. Thank you.